Dear followers, welcome back to another uh, SDK tutorial. We are now starting to create the first hanger of our airport. Here is a picture of uh, our hanger. We have another that uh, guys uh, at the airport has kindly provided uh, to me. We have, of course, our satellite imagery. So let's start picking uh, some uh, measurements of our hanger. And uh, I, I do that in, uh, in Google Earth, going in top view, press R to make square top down view. Do you call that? With the ruler here, you can note down that the length of our hanger is something like 29 meters. And the width of our hanger is uh, more or less like um, 9 meter and 60. But uh, we, we know by the pictures that we have uh, some overhang. So the measurement are a little bit less. So I will make this a nine meter width by 28 meters long. So back in Blender, open the transform panel and scale the cube with the dimension we have found before. So it's 28 meters long by nine meters wide. And for the height, I just put three meters height because I have so this picture of this airplane, it looks like it's three meters, but we can check later on in the, in the simulator if we enter the, the, right, uh, the right height. <laughs> okay, and this is our cube. So let's put it just above the ground. Okay, and press Control A and all transform to reset the transformation of the scale, the location, the rotation, so the sim can read. Okay, let's analyze the basic shape of this angle. So we have one, two, and three doors. Uh, we have a roof uh, with uh, two parts, divided into parts, uh, and um, let's start creating uh, this, uh, this angle. So let's see the, the type of the material. Uh, we have some, looks like some plasticky material here with uh, some, some little bit of corrugation. And uh, the, the frame of the doors is, uh, is bare metal. So let's start creating uh, the, the three doors. Okay, so we should uh, cut our hanger in three parts. And uh, I'm using the loop cut tool with this uh, strange uh, yellow shape. I'm gonna click on the hanger and there is a, a little menu here and we're, go we're gonna say that we want three cuts. Um, I made two cuts, so it's three parts of, uh, of each, uh, for, each, uh, for each door. And um, now we have three parts, one, two, and, uh, and three. So from uh, this picture, we can see that each door is composed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine segment of each panel or nine panels for each door. We should divide this by nine. So I'm going to pick this one and make that this a separate object. I'm going to press P to separate the selection. So now if I'm going to object mode, we have two objects, one here and one here for the uh, the door. I'm gonna uh, hide this one because I don't need this. So I'm gonna press H to hide it. And I'm gonna work on this door as a single door. Uh, let's take a look at the picture. We have a frame around the door. So go in edit mode with the tab. I'm gonna select the face. I'm gonna press E to insect. Oh, I have to reset the transforms. I'm gonna press E to insect and as you can see now we have a border around uh, our um, our door. Make the border a little bit more thick. Pick the border and press E to extrude. Now the border is done, maybe overdone, but we can adjust that later. And uh, we should also divide the door into several sections. We have nine sections of this uh, of this material. And we're gonna use the loop cut tool again and divide into nine sections. 
Okay, for this mesh, I'm gonna create two different materials, one for the border and one for the door itself. So let's create the, the metal material. That uh, will be, of course, uh, an MFS standard material. Uh, we don't need the texture now, we can get a bare metal. Bare metal. So let's put the metallic value just uh, something like this. A little bit more smooth, a little bit more grayish. Okay, now the material is applied to all the, to all the object, but we need another material. So let's go back in the uh, material slots and add a new material and I will call that uh, uh, plastic uh, door. Yes, PVC door, maybe PVC door. This will be another MFS standard material. And they have already created the texture for this. And so let's put the albedo and the composite and the normal. Okay, great, let's see how it looks. It's, uh, it's still um, using the, the previous material we have create. So we have to select where we want this material. Press the, the face. And let's select all face. By shift clicking, you select individual face. Or by control, clicking control, you select all the faces in a row. And let's apply the PVC material. And there it is. So it's in the wrong direction. So I'm gonna press U to unwrap and reset the unwrapping. Resetting the unwrapping by selecting one face, we can see, open the UV editing workspace, we can see that the face is expanded to the whole texture. Uh, the orientation is wrong, so we can select all of them and press A to rotate a 90 degrees and we are Good to go. Perfect. Okay. Nice start looking. Uh, nice. We have also those section. So we can go back to edit mode. Press the edge tool here. The edge uh, selection mode. So this, one, this one. Select the bevel tool. I'm going to bevel just a little bit. Like this. And I'm going to extrude this in this direction just a little bit okay so as you can see we now have our door with the panels and it's here so we can unite the anger and it's uh, this one so alt h and hide and now we have our first door. Uh, we can, of course, uh, duplicate the door three times. So I'm gonna press Shift D to duplicate and then GX to move along the X axis. And again, Shift D to duplicate and move along the X axis. So GX and move along the X axis. Okay, so let's move the anger a little bit away and we have now our three doors of course one of the door is in front of the other otherwise they can't move so GY and now we have our three doors and go back to edit mode select the faces of the roof and extrude them by 0 0.50 centimeters Looks like 50 centimeters here. Okay. And now we can make our roof. So we should divide, slice our hanger in the length direction. A quick click, all in one slice. And going back to the vertex mode. Here, I'm going to use X ray to select all the vertices on this line and by pressing GZ I'm gonna make the roof a little bit tight. I should apply the, the texture I used for my plastic doors also here. It is a door material so we should unwrap it 
wrap and reset and in the UV editing scale Y scale on the X axis so we're gonna make this pattern here this pattern like this okay could be better maybe another texture okay we, we will do that so let's move this for our roof we can select all the part of the roof and bring it up about 20 centimeter I would say 20 centimeter and go back to blender and go back to modeling so we can see it bigger and extrude by 0 by 20 centimeters so we must make the overhang let's take those faces here and extrude them on the x-axis I would say this is about about one meter that's about one meter and extrude one meter and of course we have extruded in the normal direction but this is pointing down so while we have all the phases uh, selected we can move them by clicking G and Z down and the overhang is done also in the other direction it's a bit less in this direction so it will be uh, extrude by 0 0.6 maybe and GZ little bit more GZ down and now we have the overhang done uh, let's do the, um, the side of the anger okay we have one side which is this uh, square uh, white and red square and the other side it's white and red square so we don't have the texture for this but we have the texture for the back which is the same of the front <laughs> and mm -hmm. let's go back here and for the back I'm gonna press U, Z, and the UVT, UV editing, select all the babies and rotate by 90 degrees. Okay, maybe I have to select only this one. Okay, U, uh, rotate 90 degrees, R, I press R to rotate, and let's scale this on this axis, the Y, the X axis. Okay, so we have also let's get this also. It's a bit too much the the normal in this material, so I can select the PVC door and in the parameters bring back the normal scale. So we have not that much 3d effect so i need to make uh, the, the texture for the roof uh, let's search it i already find it as you can imagine and uh, my my texture.com uh, so i have searched it and the nicest one for the job is this one it's a pvc roof it's blue no problem we can colorize it as you can see by this image here it's like the same texture but we have to do another thing the overhang of the roof i'm gonna select this and will be um i think it's a bubble yep okay and i'm gonna select those faces and press E to extrude okay here it is so I have purchased the albedo the normal the roughness the metallic and the ambient occlusion texture and I have saved them in my uh, main texture folder and my main texture folder is in my documents and here they are albedo 
normal roughness metallic and ambient occlusion so i'm gonna open the albedo with gamp and make it white to do this i'm gonna go to colors uh, saturation and bring down the saturation it's okay and color brightness uh, of course contrast more brightness okay uh, let's make it only a little bit um, uh, let's lower the temperature make it a little yellow, yellowish more used okay I do like this texture and I'm gonna overwrite it I can always download a new one you know I must create uh, the composite texture and uh, this is a 124 by, 20, by 124 texture so let's create a new 124 by 24 texture with colors and decompose the colors components decompose so we have RGB hello my cat let's pick the ambient occlusion and let's put it in the red channel yep and merge down the layer so it's in the red one let's hide it and go back in the green and let's put there the roughness and merge down the roughness and the metallic let's select the metallic the blue uh, let's pick the blue here and convert and now merge down so we have ambient occlusion roughness and metallic so let's compose that again by colors components compose press ok and file export as uh, pvc texture.com pvc okay so we have our composite our normal and our albedo and let's copy this to our texture folder for our packet sources uh, new material which will be the roof pvc roof pvc roof and the pvc roof will be of course an mfs standard material let's select our texture the albedo and then texture the composite and then texture the normal one okay and we're gonna assign this pvc roof and assign okay so you can see we have to scale it and then i'm gonna scale this in this way so by clicking i'm gonna pet the cat okay so i'm gonna do this in this way i'm gonna select the part of the roof i want to apply my texture i'm gonna press u to unwrap and another type of projection project from view and the uv editing I'm gonna scale and rotate by 90 degrees so we have our roof and G and scale again okay should be like this and uh, let's repeat for the other sections and the same for this so you project from view a to select all r to rotate 90 degrees and scale and z is too much big okay and go back to modeling and now we have our knife roof i want it to be more 3d i'm gonna bring a the normal a little bit and so we have also our roof done 
without its reflections okay we are pretty nice and let's go ahead okay so to create the red and white uh, checker, checkerboard texture we're gonna use the um, the, the pvc texture uh, we have used for the door as a template and open it in game i'm gonna add a new layer which is on top of the other one and gonna use this faction filter filter render pattern checkerboard as you can see we have a checkerboard and white checkerboard will be white in one color and red for the other color and the width of the height let's do the square so we have um, 512 by 512 image so to have perfect square we can use a multiple of four so 64 by 64 and this is our checkerboard partner uh, we can make this a little more we can make this just change this okay let's just make the red more dark so select by color and uh, select by color the red make colors brightness little bit darker okay so back in blender we could create a new material for for this place here and for the sides so let's create a new material and i'm gonna call that uh, red white checker some of a standard you'll be the will be a checker and normal and occlusion the same of the other texture so pvc composites um, texture pvc no. okay so apply this here and also here and assign and now i'm going to project from view and go to the uv editing select all and scale let's make it down bigger no more we count down but we can do that precisely okay so we have our anger with its colors and would be a good idea to save it and uh, we're gonna save that to the model lib lidl model lib create a new anger main anger we'll call that main lidl main hanger okay lidl main hanger it's not the main but it's uh, the the most new, the new one with, with the bico logo and give it the same name okay so if crash we have also well, fine okay so we need some more geometry for this overhang because there is of course a little bit of overhang here and also on the other side and i'm gonna extrude this in another way by clicking the right mouse button and extrude facing along their normals so the faces are extruded by the same amount of on opposite normals and here there's a door so we should make this door here okay so back on course we have to to make a door on the side so what i'm gonna do is uh, this one is a method uh, you know we are creating stuff uh, we are artists we can do the thing in the in the way we want i'm gonna separate the smash so press p and separate the selection 
so I can use the tulip cut and I can make it the size I want so maybe like this and it's the door so maybe like this and it should be a little bit higher um, it will be like this so this is the size of our door and you can also measure things in blender you have a ruler here and you can measure it by clicking and dragging so we have our door this is about two meters 120 so maybe we can make that a little bit more higher so i'm gonna press gg double g to slide the vertices a little bit up and i think it's okay like this maybe a touch more white touch more white so gg to slide and we're gonna make the door the door or stick a little bit in so extrude in and insect e to insect to create the border of the door and i'm gonna make the border of the door with my metal and the door is pure white so we can select these babies and go to the uv editing and let's move in a white position g scale y and scale and the other in another position be here and scale and scale x and now we have our white door and now we're gonna start working on the sign of the big aeroporto lineago sign okay so we're gonna do this uh, this writing maybe we can search it on the internet and the only image i found is this which is a little, uh, little low quality to put on uh, our hanger so in this case what i'm gonna do is search for this particular font and i'm gonna create an image with a word and upload this word to a font recognizer which is this one and you search the most uh, most similar font to to yours the website try to recognize the font sometimes uh, can sometimes not this one is a little bit similar but I think that this one is the best we can get lower bait and I download it and install it and once we have done by creating our new image we can pick the color to write a text from the logo and using the text and of course the font we have downloaded which is the lower bait I can now write Aeroporto Leniago. Let's make it the Leniago word is both and big. Yes, let's see if it is it is fresh a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we can see it. And it's a little bit of a Okay, and merge all the layers because we are satisfied. And let's make the image transparent 
So we, we need an alpha channel. If you don't have an alpha channel, you can add that by making the layer transparent. So add the layer transparency and add your alpha channel. And select the, the black, the black or the blacks. And select by color, the black, and with your eraser tool, make them a little bit bigger. And as you can see, now we have a transparent image. Of course, I like the Alhanga logo. So, back in Blender, let's see how we can use this image. Okay, you see, you see the writing? It's all over our doors. And we can do this by so let's join them. I have selected all three doors. You can see I have selected all three doors. And I'm going to select from here. Also this one. OK. I'm going to shift D to duplicate. And I'm going to leave them in place. Okay, so once we have duplicated uh, those, uh, those faces, we can um, assign a new material. Uh, this is a special material and it's called MFS Decal. In the albedo box, I'm going to put our logo, assign it to the new faces. So as you can see, now we are seeing through our faces and our project from view and scale. Well, the, the ideal thing is project from view bounds. Okay. Okay, and scale it. So, as you can see, now we have our writing in the hangar and is perfectly fine. I have the door in the wrong place. I made the door in the wrong place. <laughs> okay, no problem. Just not this step. Uh, okay, so let's save this. Uh, we can now try to export our baby into the flex simulator and uh, let's see how, how it comes. So I'm gonna press A, Control A to reset all my transforms and file, export, extend in GTLFs, LDL main hangar in the texture. I got two dot dot slash texture and remember export settings. We have no lots and generate an XML file with the same name of our file GLTF and generate UID. And let's stop it because Alex is talking. Okay, so we are back into Flex Simulator. Let's uh, load our project. And let's click Build All since we are created some new assets and open the console and let's see if we have some errors okay 26 done no errors uh, let's load it in the editor we don't need those babies And we're gonna see if the langar loads up. All hell ideal main hangar and add. And it is our baby. So let's rotate it. I think it's it's the right size. So let's 
the, the old one away, so let's add the um, polygon. Polygon. And add the polygon. And we're gonna remove view properties. I'm gonna remove all the buildings in this place. And let's click on our hunger. And let's put that into the right place. Yeah. And here it is. Our wonderful new hunger. Uh, of course, we have to tweak that a lot. We have to add the details. But I think it's a nice, really nice. Really, really nice start, don't you think? Okay, thanks so much for our door. <laughs> thanks so much for being here with me, and I'll see you next time.